So I found my buck this morning. Tucker just flew in, he wanted me to tell the story of what happened. Didn't have time to get him out of here before Tucker's flight landed. So yesterday I shot this deer at 10 a.m. Uh, on our cabin ridge, which is uphill from here. We were on the neighbor's property. They were kind enough to let us come look for our deer. And I shot him yesterday at 10 a.m. You can see a little low, so it's questionable. I saw him lay down and get up 15, 20 minutes later and he slipped off. So I never even looked for my arrow, never looked for blood. The thing to do was to get out of there. I snuck out and gave him 24 hours. Uh, and it was a good thing, our blood trail was not good. Uh, it was spotty, we had a couple spots where he stopped. Followed him down to the head of this pond, which Tucker will show you in just a second. We're like 12 yards from the pond on the neighbor's property. Uh, he came down to the water, drank water, maybe got in the water, uh, and we found him just, just right over here off the edge of the pond in this grass, right where you see. Total distance, he probably went 150 yards from where I saw him lay down. Uh, after the shot, he probably went 45, 50 yards. So it, it was a kill shot, low, maybe one long, liver. Uh, it was quarter two, he was quarter two me a little more than I thought. So uh, exit holes about right here on the opposite side. So we, one long, liver, and gut on the exit side. Uh, deadly shot, but no blood, it would have been a mistake to go after him. Uh, he didn't go very far and laid down and passed just like planned. So it's a good thing we waited and didn't pursue him. Pretty cool. Uh, he's a little cut up. He's a fighter, his ears are all banged up. But pretty cool buck. Got several pictures of him, passed him about a week ago. It was too dark to get a good shot on him and get a good pin on him. Uh, so I let him go. I've seen him a total of like six times and got a bunch of pictures of him. So it was nice to get a chance at him yesterday morning. Oh, and the 24 hour wait thing, when I found him about an hour and a half ago, he was still warm and no rigor mortis. He was very limber. He had just died this morning. Uh, he's already getting stiff. So if you're not sure, Give them 24 hours, don't even go after them.